Hi everyone, it's Robin from Upstyle here with my first ever video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this eyeglass case with matching key ring. It's a quick and easy project and really fun to make. I'm using cork fabric and a bamboo blend felt so it's eco and vegan friendly. Okay, let's get started. For this project, you'll need a 7 inch square of cork fabric, a 7 inch square of bamboo blend felt, a 7 inch square of heat and bond light iron knot adhesive, and a 1 inch by 1 half inch piece of cork fabric. You'll also need the key ring hardware, sewing clips, a fabric marker, a ruler with a straight edge, a rotary cutter, and scissors. To make the curve at the top of the case, you'll need something curved to trace around. I like using this coffee mug. Finally, you'll need a sewing machine and a steam iron. The first thing you'll need to do is fuse the fabric layers together. So you take your adhesive sheet and put it glue side down onto the felt. And then you'll just use your iron set to a medium setting to fuse it together. It just takes a couple seconds. And once it's cooled off just a couple seconds, you can peel the paper backing off. And then you put the cork fabric wrong side down on top of that adhesive layer. And then you'll turn it all the layers over so that the felt is facing up. And then use your iron to fuse all the layers together. It takes a little bit more time and hit it with some steam and most of the layers will bond the first time. Lift up the layers and check to make sure it's bonded and you can see here that there's an area that hasn't bonded well. So I just turn it back over and hit it again with some more heat and steam and a little bit more time. At this point, the outside edges probably won't be aligned perfectly, so use your straight edge and rotary cutter to slice off any overlapping layers. You should end up with a square that measures just slightly less than 7 inches by 7 inches. The key ring strap measures 5 eighths of an inch wide, so use your straight edge to measure and cut a 5 8 inch strip off the fabric layers. Then just set the strap aside for now. You've probably noticed I'm left-handed. You can cut this strip off from either side. Turn the layers so that it measures about 7 inches wide by 6 and 3 eighths inch tall. Place whatever you're using to trace the curved edge onto the fabric layers and trace the curve at the top left and the top right. Also measure and place a mark two inches down from the top edge. And use your scissors to cut the fabric along the curved line.
The next step is to stitch along the top curves between the marks with your sewing machine. To reinforce the top edges, stitch around the top curve between the marks 1 8 inch from the edge. Work slowly around the curves to ensure an even stitching line. Then just trim off the loose threads. Okay, next you fold the layers in half, lining up the curved edges and along the sides and the bottom. You'll secure the layers in place using your sewing clips. Remember that small piece of cork fabric you cut at the beginning? Attach small pieces of tape to the short ends of the fabric and wrap around the area where the stitching ends and just press to secure in place. Start sewing at the top of the tab, back stitch to secure and continue sewing all the way down to about two, two stitches short of the end. get to the end, lift the presser foot and pivot the fabric 45 degrees, drop the foot and stitch once or twice, pivot again and continue to the folded edge. Pivot 45 degrees one last time and add the last few stitches, back stitch to secure the threads. Trim off the loose threads. Now it's time to remove the tape. You can leave the fabric tabs as they are or trim off the corners for a more tapered look. Take a look at the edges and if there are any areas that overlap, simply trim off with your scissors or your rotary cutter. And finally, trim the bottom corners at an angle close to stitching, about 1 8 of an inch from the stitches. If you see any loose threads, trim those off as well. And that's it. You're done with the glasses case. Now let's move on to the keyring strap. Stitch around all four edges of your key ring strap about one eighth of an inch from the edge. Trim off the loose.
open up your keyring hardware, fold your strap in half, and simply slip the ends into the opening and then you just press firmly to close the hardware. It grips it in place very securely. And that's it to finish the key ring. You're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to contact me with any questions, concerns, or comments regarding this and any future projects. Thanks for watching.